Hi YouTubers, so this is going to be a quick review of a Prisma color blending pencil. So this is kind of a really unusual recording because I'm basically like behind the camera and trying to record. So I played around with pencils a little bit and let's see here if I can zoom in I'm going to try to take up a little bit there but I think it's just the paper kind of a cheap Walmart paper and I think this is basically for sketching like that I've been trying to practice trees but this is supposed to be colorless, colorless. So, yeah. As you can see, there's no color coming off. Hopefully. Okay, so I got this fountain pen. I'm just gonna outline. So, before anybody says anything, these are more on the cheaper end that I found on eBay. So they do pretty good to be a little cheap. Now I said I had it like this snipped down and surprisingly it did not leak. I know fountain pens like this will leak, tend to leak. That one's empty. Okay, so I'm gonna try a different color scheme. I'm gonna try blue and yellow together. So I know with this pencil on the back it suggests is to use the primer Prismacolor primer pencils Just drop it so this is going to be the Prismacolor side and this is the other brand so I'm going to start off with yellow. We use corn, carny yellow. It's PC916. <sighs> I don't know how well it's picking up. I just don't want to use this. Let's see. Blue and yellow mix. Green. Let's spell it blue. Okay, I'm going to try true blue. Let's see here. That's a phallic color. That is a lot blue, so I'm going to try a true blue.
the spruce moss tend to blend together really good. As you can see at the edge, it's turning a little green. Oops. Don't know how well I can see that. green there. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Okay. So, when I'm, so it does really good with like blending. There's some better lighting. You can tell how good that is blended together. Because I know this is bumpy looking. So, kind of helps move the colors out too. Kind of makes it look a little smoother. Thing is, it's bad to have color on the pencil there, so that can easily pop off. So, these are a different brand. Some back out. So these are a different brand. These you can find at Staples. Thing I love is that it's got a what thing around the lid that helps keep from breaking it. So I love that about these. I think I paid about five dollars for a pack of twenty-four. So I think I'll do a blue and a green. And these are made in Germany. So this kind of got like a Quaco Corolla feel to them. Corolla. Then proper thing of barber in Tontad. But in a way, it kind of like, kind of had the Prisma feel to them, kind of, but not as, um, waxy, if that makes sense. I want to use a little darker. They got a lighter yellow. Okay, well. Come in, turn you around. So we'll have a lot right there, but horrible with sliding. I'm not gonna blend the whole thing because I know it probably won't but I just want to blend the two colors in
which this does good for the most part blending but not as good as Prisma would okay zoom in a little try not to get in the way So you can tell the difference that with this brand of pencils, it really don't want to do that good. You can tell it tried, but it's not exactly great. So I'm going to go ahead and draw two boxies down here. I'm gonna make them a little dark. A little, little dark. Which, which you can't see yet. My bad. So, move it up a little bit. Try not to kill my keyboard. Which it's off right now. This one needs to be sharpened, but I'm not worried about it right now. So with this blue one, the Prisma, you can tell that it's a little... uneven colored. So this pencil helps even that out a little bit. And it helps to blend out the rough edges. I tend to color and circles which helps with the picture looking not so stricky strict streaky looking I'll probably doing this wrong but Probably not picking up on that one. Let's try this one. I know it's kind of picking up on the darker like it's wanting to come off the page probably will if I keep coloring so much but you can see where it's wanting to stay on the pencil a little bit like I said it could just flap it off so for the most part, I think this will work with Prisma, but with any other pencils you kind of want to experiment with, 
thick since Corolla's a little more waxier than this that and might do it. The Prisma they're a little more waxy type of pencils. So if you've used this Prisma color blender, let me know what you think. Because so far I enjoyed it and I think probably use it. But I need to get back into my coloring pencils I've been sketching with. Mostly black and white. So for this I did with Prismacolor. So I got a new sketchbook. I've been taking kind of lessons from. So and before I go, I do got some of my art on sale on Etsy. My Etsy shop will be in the link below with all my other links so feel free to go check out my links especially my Etsy shop I would much appreciate that and I will see y'all in the next video bye